Hi there, today I'm doing a video to talk about the issues I've encountered with the Google Home, Google Home Mini, and Chromecast as well. So the issues I've actually encountered are all related to the Wi-Fi. What I found is since I've actually purchased these devices, which wasn't too long ago, I've had a lot of instability on my home Wi-Fi network. Now, I purchased these and also purchased some smart light bulbs and smart socket as well. And I wasn't too sure why the issue suddenly started happening. And the problem was that the home Wi-Fi would repeatedly go down and the only way to recover was to restart the actual router. Now, my home network, each device on the network is locked down via the MAC address. So these devices all have IP addresses and each device also has a, a MAC address associated with it. And I'd lock down the router so only specific devices could connect to it. Now, I thought that may have been an issue, but it seems it's not. Now, reading some forums on the internet, I found that the actual Google Home Mini and Google Home, it goes into what they call like a sleeper mode. And what happens every so often, it wakes up and it sends a large number of network packets to your Wi-Fi router. And the impact that has, it literally just takes your router down. Now, it's an odd one because they said it's both the Google Home and the Chromecast. So I've had the Chromecast for about a year. Chromecast hasn't really caused me any problems. So what I thought I'd try out is buying a Wi-Fi extender. And with that Wi-Fi extender, what I've done is all these little bits of uh, smart tech, I've connected them directly to the Wi-Fi extender. And that extender uh, remotely connects to my, my router. Now, that's helped in a massive way. Now, what actually happens is if it's gonna take anything down, it actually just takes down the Wi-Fi extender. So briefly, it will go down and then it will come back again. Now, the good thing is and it maintains the stability on your actual Wi-Fi router and it avoids you having to reboot it. So now, I've been for a period of, I'd say, three weeks and haven't had to reboot my home router at all. So there you go. I hope this bit of advice help anyone experience similar issues. Obviously, this issue is quite um, epidemic with these Google Home devices, which I know um, reading about Google is working to resolve. And in the background, also manufacturers of routers, they're also issuing firmware updates to stop this issue happening. But in the meantime, obviously you wanna use these devices and keep your home network going. So there you go. Buying one of these, not particular brand, but something similar to this, can obviously help stabilize your network again. And I hope this has helped anyone experience a similar issue. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.